Hey, babe. What? What day is it? Sunday. Wrong. It's Greenstock Unboxing Day. So it's an absolutely beautiful day today. I'm sitting out on our porch for the porch garden. Um, and this is where we're gonna move the green stock planter. And um, we're gonna transplant a couple things today. What I really love about the planter is that each layer comes off. So when we move, we just take each layer off and move them individually and then put them back together very carefully so that we don't mess up any of the plants. But I am gonna swing around and show you how much crazy growth we have had with a bunch of the stuff that we planted on here. And um, yeah, so as you can see, we had a lot of fun unboxing <laughs> the green stock planter. We haven't even, you know, pulled everything out yet, but we're going to. So yeah, I'm glad you're here. And um, don't forget, there's a coupon code. Uh, if you go to the green stock website, you can use code LOOMPH. That's capital L, capital O, capital O, capital M, capital F. Alrighty, it's still a little bit of a mess on here, but I'm just gonna show you a few updates, so. We have our uh, squashes planted out. I'm really hoping that these containers are big enough. Let me see, they're 16 inch. So I'm hoping that's enough for the root development. Squash always seems to have such a strong root. We will see, it's an experiment. The chamomile that I transplanted exploded. And look, we're starting to get our first one, so pretty. So did the oregano, sage, and the thyme. I've never seen my thyme bloom and it's it's getting crazy. I, th I think I probably shouldn't have put them in the same container. Cilantro is trying to go to seed. I keep pinching off the uh, the flowers. And I just took some spinach out of there and ate it for breakfast the other day. The sugar snaps are growing and I put some lettuce in there. I want to say this is a goji berry. Strawberries are making strawberries over here. Looking gorgeous. And the dill is planted. The lettuces that I transplanted are doing awesome. I need to make a salad really bad. Look at how beautiful. Love the color. Some of the beans that are in here, they're gonna go in the uh, green stock planter today. And something I'm really excited about are these little uh, orange hat tomatoes. Those are meant for containers. So I'm hoping that they'll do really well. But the tomatoes are all looking pretty good too. What did you do to the lawnmower? Change the starter because you broke it. Yeah, I did that. <laughs> but you got a new one from Amazon, and so now Heath is going to show me how well this thing works. So walk us through this now, babe. First, you go the brake down, pull the choke up, turn the key over like this, like sewer. Okay, so it's the next day. We got so busy with everything going on. Um, my sister-in-law came and my husband did some stuff on her truck for her. And then my sister-in-law and I busted our butts working to get everything out of the garden. And the garden is no more, you guys. Still need to mow over it and like pick up some trash and stuff, like that old milk jug. But isn't that crazy? No more, no more garden. So as you can see, we were super busy yesterday, but I do really wanna get the green stock planter put together and kind of give you my thoughts on it because number one, I have some plants that probably need to be moved into something bigger. And number two, I'm pretty excited about this. Um, honestly, I think once we get settled wherever we're going, if, if we can over time add to um, this green stock and get one or two more because this is such a great way to garden uh, especially if you don't have a ton of space um, it's vertical gardening you're growing up you're using the most of such a small space and these are 10 inch planters so there's a good amount of root 
depth there for things like bush beans and strawberries and lettuces, things that don't have a really intense root system like, you know, okra, which you wouldn't put in this anyway. So, excuse me. So I'm excited to put it together and I'm excited to show you guys. Okay, so before we head outside to fill it up with dirt and build it and all of that, and start transplanting things, I thought I would show you what comes in the box along with the actual um, green stock planter. And then I also got something, it's, uh, I can't remember off the top of my head what they called it. I wanna say it's like a plant support. Um, and I'll show you guys that in a minute. But I wanted to show you what comes in the box with it. And this is so cute. They sent some organic green bush beans. And then on the back, they show you how well they do and um, tell you how many to put in each pocket. And I think that's neat. And that's actually one of the things I'm putting in here is beans. And they give you some cute little stickers, about to say flower stickers, but there's one flower, happy gardening and some bell peppers. And then they give a instructional pamphlet, which I'm really excited about because I've been wondering what all can I plant in the green stock planner and this lets you know what you can plant in there and how many seeds per pocket and then they show you in here you know how to plant it your watering tips and your gardening tips another thing that's really neat is they gave you the backstory on the family because this is a family-owned business uh, who started the green stock um, company and I'm so glad they came up with it because this is such a neat idea and um, I did find some comparables, and I say this because it's like a, they're not really comparables on Amazon. And I looked at the measurements for them and stuff, and it's not even, it's nowhere near the quality of this. Not to mention, you know that you're buying from a family owned business, something made here in the USA, and, um, and quality. And, and it's way bigger. I, the measurements for the ones on Amazon were much smaller. Another great thing is that these are made from high quality, UV resistant, BPA, BPS, and PVC free food grade material. So if you are wanting to not have things that are leaching into your soil, thus affecting the nutrition of your plants and what you're taking in, these are a super amazing option. I had to stop because coffee. So what you didn't just see when I took that sip of coffee was me spill it down my shirt. I'm really glad. And as you can tell, it's still a mess behind us. Heading out to the porch garden with my coffee and a light jacket because yesterday was really hot and today is not. Um, and that's Texas for you. All right, so we're out around the porch garden. It's a little bright, so I'm a little squinty. And I'm gonna go ahead and follow the instructions. I'm gonna fill all of the, can, the layers with the soil and then I'll catch back with you when I'm planning some stuff out. I'm so glad they gave instructions because I was thinking that you fill each layer and then go to plant stuff out, but I was wrong. And the instructions say to fill each plant, oh, <laughs> hold on, fill and plant uh, each planter to the top, oh, no, fill each planter to the top with potting mix and plant each pocket with starter plants or seeds and then you stack it. So, I'm really glad I hadn't already done that. <laughs> Read the instructions, people. Okay, wow, that thing can seriously hold some dirt. Um, I know in the description they said how many cubic feet each uh, container holds. I'm terrible at math. <laughs> so anyways, I did probably 80% of one bag, which is making me a little nervous now because uh, I'm hoping I'm gonna have enough to do that and plan out my potatoes and my grow bags, which I still haven't done, I still haven't done that, you guys. Um, so I have one layer planted. Let's get some beans in it. According to their instructions, you can do three bush beans per pocket. 
And since I already have several started, what I'm gonna do is in each pocket, I'm gonna put one of these, and then I'm also gonna put two seeds. One of the things that you can do for things like beans, lettuces, radishes, try to think, anything that um, you're gonna eat a lot of, depending on your season, you can do what's called succession growing. I think I said that right. Succession, succession, succession. It's something like that. These are already started. The the, the uh, seeds will come up later, but it'll give me a continual harvest of beans. Same with lettuces and radishes and whatever else you start like that. Let's plant some beans. The first one I'm gonna start is dragon tongue bean. And I heard some pretty good things about this last year and they were sold out on Baker Creek Seeds. So I snagged them for this year and I'm excited to try them. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this one planted and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and actually hold that thought. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plant this and grab my tags. I don't wanna not label what these are and then grab the seeds and pop those in too. So let me just go ahead and plant this and then I'll be right back. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and put my little water disc on here because I wanna make sure I'm not gonna be in its space. And um, I just need to figure out where I put it. Make sure to fill the dirt all the way to the rim, not like I did. Okay, I'm back. I've got my, uh, my little, my gray disc, that's the watering disc on. And one of the good things about cleaning out the garden is I found a bunch of plant tags and the names have washed off. So I'm just gonna use those. And then I'm gonna pop in a couple more dragon uh, tongue bean seeds. Now I know a lot of people say to soak your beans before planting them. I don't and they still sprout. So um, I'm not gonna do it today either. So I'm just gonna pop those in a little closer to the front and then I'm going to label it and move on to the next one. So instead of having you guys watch me plan out all of them, I'm gonna go ahead and do the whole thing and then I'll show you guys when it's done and I'll give you my last thoughts and yeah. Okay, well, I started going and then I just didn't stop. I started transplanting things. I've got the green uh, stock built, it's awesome. I'm going to talk about that in a minute and how easy it was. And I just decided <laughs> to move my strawberries again. Reason being, I will show you. I had my strawberries in this one right here, but it's such a deep container that I didn't want to waste all of that depth on such a shallow rooted uh, fruit. So I moved them in here with my sweet peas. I moved it in here with this. I don't remember what kind of little bush that is. It's never done well but I just put it in quality soil because I'm doing a lot better when it comes to my soil. So I, um, I moved those in there and now I'm gonna clear this area because I'm actually gonna put the green stalk right there because it needs sun on all sides and where I was originally gonna do it in this corner, it doesn't get sun on one side. So I'm gonna move that now. It's getting super humid out here. Let's call it a day on the porch garden. But the green stock planter is put together. I gave it a little rinse because I got some dirt on it. I'm gonna swing this around and show you guys. Uh, before I do, I did wanna say, um, I wish I'd gotten the roller. There is a stand that it can roll around on. I mean, I was able to move it here just fine, but I can tell you, I think having it on wheels would be definitely the smartest way to go. Um, my husband mentioned us maybe building one. So we're gonna look into that. And, um, but I loved it. It was crazy easy to put together. And um, I've already put some lettuces, some beans, and some bean seeds in it. I'm gonna probably do some more seedlings and stuff tomorrow, but it's getting really hot and humid and I have a lot to do. I mean, this place is still a mess. So anyways, I'm gonna swing this around and show you. I definitely recommend it, 10 out of 10. If you guys want to get one and you want a discount, make sure and check out their website and use code LOOMPH all caps, L-O-O-M-F, for your discount. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. That sucked.
You should do it. 